Motivation Orange Why am I so poor? You ask yourself. It's the end of the month again. You open your wallet and saw only a few bucks in there. So is your bank account, it's almost empty. Your payday is a few days away, and you wonder how you will survive. And the same story repeats every month. When you look at friends of the same age, you feel embarrassed. Many of them have bought their houses and cars, look fabulous, dress well, and are capable of taking care of their families well. You suspect they have huge bank accounts too. And you? You are living from paycheck to paycheck. So what happened? Why are you poor? Why those people can have good money, but not you? Do they have something that you don't, or do they do something that you don't? The answer is yes. In this video, we will reveal to you 5 reasons why you're still poor. See if you are guilty of a couple of them. Reason number 5, you don't save money. Plain and simple, this is the main reason why money comes and goes. You don't save for future use, emergency, or retirement. Well, you might not be a big spender, spending thousands of dollars on big ticket items. But you probably don't realize the small money that you spend mindlessly can add up, and they are emptying your bank account. Saving money isn't your priority. That's why even if you do have a well-paying job, you see red in your bank account every month. Remember this, you will never reach your financial goals, unless you grow the discipline to keep your money. Reason number 4, you want easy money. Here's a red pill blue pill question. Let's say you have to make a choice. On the one hand, you are offered a big sum of money. On the other hand, you are offered the ownership of a business that could potentially grow into a giant establishment, but requires a few years of hard work from you. What will you choose? Well, most short-sighted people would choose to receive the sum of money for instant gratification, and then slack their life away. Incidentally, they are also the candidates of the Pullman Club. Farsighted people don't mind taking up the challenge, even if it means they have to pour in their blood and sweat, and work their tails off. As long as they see the returns outweigh the short-term suffering now, they will go for it. They go for a better tomorrow. What will you choose? Are you one of those who dream about getting easy money, but not willing to pay the price? Reason number 3, you lack action. Your desire to get out of poverty might be so strong that it keeps hovering around your mind. But mind you, nothing's gonna happen if you do nothing. This is by far the most common fault of people. They want something, they keep thinking about it, but they are not doing anything to get it. See, you won't have a car just by sitting on the couch thinking about it. Unless there's a windfall, your bank account won't grow fat just like that. You won't earn a single extra cent if you have a million dollar idea, but watch 10 hours of YouTube every day. So go do something already. Reason number 2, you surround yourself with wrong people. Jim Rohn, a world-renowned motivational speaker, said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Whether you like it or not, the people around you will affect what you turn out to be. If you are friends with average income earners, you are most likely earning an average income too. If you mingle with successful people, you will eventually be like them. Surround yourself with people who are already wealthy. Pick their brains and learn their best habits. If you can't, surround yourself with those who are fighting their ways to riches. Work hard towards the same goals with them, and motivate each other. And if you still can't, at least distance yourself from those who will drag you down financially. And the number one reason why you are still poor is, you lack financial literacy. Back to the situation at the beginning of this video again. Why is your bank account empty at the end of the month, every month? May we suggest, that's because you are not managing your money well. And why aren't you managing your money well? Perhaps you don't know how to, and are not willing to learn. That's the number one reason you're not rich yet. For example, if you don't appreciate the importance of having a budget, you will spend freely. If you don't put aside a part of your earning, you can only hope rainy days never come. Worse, the thought of living as a poor old man or woman when you retire, will someday start haunting you. If you don't know how credit cards work, and if you don't have a feasible plan to pay off your debt, you will just be trapped in the jail of debt for the rest of your life. If you don't know how to grow your money, or better, let your money work for you and grow by itself, you are missing out on opportunities to accumulate wealth. And if you are incapable of managing your money, and not willing to learn how, your wallet and bank account will be empty at the end of every month. No surprise. So. We have revealed to you 5 reasons why you're still poor. To repeat, they are Reason number 5, you are not saving money. Reason number 4, you want things to be easy, and are not willing to pour in the effort. Reason number 3, you don't take action. Reason number 2, you surround yourself with the wrong people. And reason number 1, you lack financial literacy. We want you to examine yourself, and see if these apply to you. Most importantly, learn to manage your money from today onwards. Go take some action already. Thanks for watching. 
If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like or thumb up, and feel free to share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.